everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I may have made a grave mistake. I thought that they had discussed <laughs> using protection so that they would just automatically use the condom. Um, and they woohooed last night. And um, apparently they didn't use one. Oh no, she's pregnant. That wasn't supposed to happen. I don't want her to be pregnant. I don't know. God damn it. I don't want to go over. I need to take it to pregnancy test. So basically, what happened was, um, it was firework festival yesterday. Um, and, uh, they both got a drug and he, because got the flirty thing. So I, I clicked on I he was he got the flirty win so I or the, the the flirty emotion so I I had them um woohoo and then I was like after they had already done it I they had like the flying with no parachute thing and I was like oh no my power has been shut off why. And like, I don't want to find out if she's pregnant or not because I don't want her to be. Also, why did the Sims do that? If you get a drink, they pop into the bathtub even though She's pregnant. There's not even a single doubt in my mind that she's pregnant. Like, there is no other reason for her to be nauseous and thinking about a baby rattle. He has a bladder infection. Can I go to the doctors for that? Or a UTI. Which is interesting. Men don't usually get UTIs. Alright, he's got, has a UTI now next and knows what the problem is, better take the prescribed antibiotics. Okay. UTIs, I've never had one actually. Where is the medicine? Better take the prescribed medicine, but there is no medicine. There's a school book, there's a uh, frog, eggs, these thingies, jewels, dye, wool, fossils, wool, wool, beeswax, dye, wool, rose, wolf spleen, snap dragon, basil, birds of paradise, strawberry, taco berry. I don't have any prescribed medicine, though. Would, 
Oh, he just did it automatically. Okay. Okay, so we will be having the baby here. So the day after Sammy ages up, pretty much. Oh, I could age Sammy up right now, but... And then when will... A week. Two weeks. So she's a little nervous to tell him that she's pregnant, not because I, she thinks that he'll react badly, but just because it's just like, she doesn't want to stress him out because, you know, and honestly, like, she doesn't even need to tell Nixon because he knows, like, they've had two babies together and she's quite emotional when she's pregnant, so he can already, he can tell. Oh my gosh, Lacey, you're pregnant. This will be five children. Was? What kind of meme is that? That's, um, Zion's. And Jade still only has two. Why do you have so many? Two of them are twins. I, I know that. I remember that. That she had twins. So they have talked about um, getting him sterilized because, you know, the birth control, it kind of sucks because, like, because, like, birth control obviously has, like, a ton of um, issues with, like, the hormones and stuff can be really difficult to deal with. And, um... So they've just, they've been talking about him going to go get himself fixed. So there's not any more accidental pregnancies. And they, they honestly, they're, they, they're done. They're, they're done. They have three. That was what, I mean, they only wanted two. So having three, did I say two or three? I can't remember. Um, I can't remember now. Um, they're having three. So they're, nothing like, oh, they may have twins. I don't know. Um. So she woke up at 4, 3 a.m., the baby crying, but then, also craving sweets. So they're gonna go out to the store and get some ice cream. He's going to go get sterilized. And we're done, going to discover the baby's birth gender. Another boy. The 
That doesn't make sense. You... Okay. So because he has the want kids thing, um, and I had him go get fixed, he says, against my deepest wishes from losing fertility, circumstances pushed Nixon towards this decision, but it does not change the fact that every fiber of his soul mourns what is now lost, to never have a child of his own. He has three. Soon to be three, at least. So it's not that anything's being mourned. So you can tell her about the surgery. Which I'm sure will make her sad, because she also wants to... Yep. already have so many children. Oh, sure. Peachy, go on. Uh -huh. Feeling Listen. betrayed. No matter how hard Macha tries to be understanding, respect her partner's choices, anger and sadness reveal when re rival within as she learns that her partner got sterilized. Such a drastic choice which destroys all Macha's hope of having children again. Stop that. Stop that. You have three children together Chelner. and are getting old. So you freaking did that so there wouldn't be another risk of a baby. So I just got rid of that because it doesn't make any sense for the story that, um, because they have three fucking kids. I wish that, like, you can get sterilized after having kids. You don't have any more when you're done. Why can't that be an option? Why can't you discuss it with your partner? Like you can adopting and putting up kids for adoption. And all this other stuff. She's gonna have another baby, right as soon as we went into um, labor. There we go, we got a bubby boy named Will. Um, but I, I know not a lot happened in this episode, but I'm going to be ending it here. So if you enjoyed, please do like, comment down below what you thought and what you'd like to see next. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye guys.